Hello and welcome to part 3 of my 18-part Platts video manual. This is Mr. Basic here. In this video, I will cover the second model on the left, the green side. The Wave Shaper mode is an asymmetric triangle processed by a wave shaper and a wave folder. It's the same signal processing chain as in the module Tides when it runs into audio rate. Harmonics determines the initial shape being folded. Tomber determines the amount of folding. And the morph knob skews the wave symmetry to the right. And the aux out employs another wave folder curve, as in available in the warps module. With harmonics to the left, we get a pulse or pinched wave. The tomber knob folding more, folding, adding folds, folding more. Unfolding. symmetry all the way to the left is is symmetrical and all the way to the right is skewed to the right it doesn't get skewed to the left it goes from the center to the right and that's the range of the morph knob with the harmonics knob to the center, what they somehow call it is a triangle, but we get a sine wave, maybe a very smooth triangle. To me it's a sine wave. And as we sweep we, the tomber knob, we add more folds, more folding, less folding. a bit of asymmetry to the right and back to symmetrical back to the right back to symmetrical now the harmonics knob to the right adds more stepping which adds an extra fold. If it goes all the way, it'll add one extra fold exactly. Mathematically, folding one more time that, that sine wave or triangle wave, folding it into twice as many. And that'll give us twice as many, I mean, well, it'll give us many more folds as we fold it with the tomber knob as well. Adding more folds. Asymmetry with just a little bit of folding pinches it. It's much like a pulse width for this mode in Platts. It's, it works in a very similar way to pulse width modulation to patch something into the morph knob. Now, the aux. 
puts out a different folding curve. This one is a bit smoother in my opinion, and gives a bit wider range near the top as you fold it more. Now you can do whatever you want to the harmonics, but what, when the timbre knob is all the way down, it's just going to be a sine wave until you add a little bit of folding. And you can see how it's just like before, all the way to the left is a pinched wave. And more folds, less folds. The harmonics knob in the center, we get something similar, but I feel it's a bit smoother and goes a bit higher range of frequency of the harmo harmonics at the end. Of just more folds. Definitely does definitely does different things than the other curve. And back. Just a little bit of folding and add some asymmetry with the morph knob and back and asymmetry and back to symmetrical or mostly symmetrical in this case lots of folding Asymmetry, take the asymmetry out. Less folding with the timbre knob until we're back. So, as you can see, they are a bit different. I will cover in the next video, the third model on the left in the green, which is the two operator FM voice. So stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching.